Hi, this is Baiju Vasudev and welcome to my channel Pi by Me Maths. Today we are going to solve January 2022 Pure Math 2 paper. This paper consists of 10 questions. I'm going to show you all the questions one by one and pause for a moment for you to read the question and then I will start solving it. Before watching this video, it would be nice if you keep the question paper ready. If you don't have the question paper with you, I will leave a link in the description below. Go to the link and download the question paper. Okay, in this question number one, they want you to use trapezium rule to find the integral of this given function 2 to the power 5 minus square root of x from 5 to 7. How do we do that? We apply the trapezium rule. When you want to apply the trapezium rule, take the common difference. That's the h. h means the width of each trapezium. So it's 0.5 divided by 2 h divided by 2 times the first y value and the last y value 6.792 plus 5.113 plus 2 times the sum of the rest of the values 6.298 5.858 5.914 so that's the trapezium rule. The most common mistake the students tend to make here, when you try to put everything in your calculator together, you will get an answer. So you'll happily write your answer here and you move on to the next question. There is no way you can verify whether the answer or answer you got here is correct or not. You miss out a single bracket or plus, your answer will be wrong. So I have noticed students are continuously making this mistake. So what I suggest here, instead of entering everything in your calculator, calculator in one shot, do it part by part. Find this value and this value separately, plug it in, do it so you, you won't make mistake here. So it's 0.5 divided by 2 times 11.905, adding these two, plus 2 times sum of these values. 17.622 so you get 0.5 by 2 times 47.47.149 so we got 11.78725 but they want the answer to two decimal place so you can write it as 11.78 Seven, so seven nine square units. So remember this. This is how we apply the trapezium rule. So I'm going to repeat this again. The common difference, take it as h divided by two, always divided by two times the first y value plus the last y value plus two times, always two times the sum of the rest of the y values. And instead of entering everything in your calculator in one go. You can calculate this sum, this sum separately and find the math. If you ask me, can I just do it in one shot? I'm, I'm sure that I won't make mistake. Please go ahead. You can write this answer straight away. You don't need to show these steps. You'll be given full marks for this. Now we are at part B. Usually when you go through past papers, you will understand there will be always a part B question where you need to use the answer, the answer you got from part A. But when you compare, this is the answer from part A and this is a part B I. When you compare them, the limit will always be the same, 5 to 7, you don't need to worry about it. But when you look at the function, they will usually add something extra to the function. You won't be given the same function, apparently. Instead of 5, you have 6 here. They want you to find this integral. 
we are not going to integrate this by considering it as a separate question. So we are at part B now. Usually when you go through past papers, look at all the trapeze, uh, questions involving trapeze in role, you will see there will be a part, part A, which is easy. You just apply the trapeze in rule, get the answer. Part B will be some questions where you need to apply the answers you got from part A. When you compare these two questions, this is the answer from part A. We got 11.79. This is part B. The integral limits are same. You don't need to worry about it. You will always have the same limit. But the function will be slightly different. You see, instead of 5 minus square root of x, you have 6 minus square root of x. You need to find the value of this integration. We are not going to integrate this function. We are going to apply this value here. So you have to find a way to split this function or do something so that you can sneak in this function in here so you can replace it with this value. How do we do that? So first one, we write it as integral 5 to 7, 2 to the, we need 2 to the power 5. So I'm going to write it as 2 to the power 1 times 2 to the power 5 minus root x dx. It's the same, right? If you apply laws of indices and you add the powers, you will get 5 plus 1, 6 minus root x. So you can split this into 2. Now this 2 is a constant, so you just keep it here. Integral 5 to 7, 2 to the power of 5 minus root x dx. Now you see we have this integral here. Replace it with 11.79, you will have 2 times 11.79. That's the answer. So you just multiply, that's the answer. So you get 20. 3.58 Now look at double i now again another question, but if you look at the function the function is slightly different You have some extra 3 here. So I'm going to split this into two integral. The first one is integral 5 to 7 3 dx plus integral 5 to 7, this function dx. You are allowed to do that in integration. When you have two functions connected by the arithmetic symbol, plus or minus, you can split them into two integral. The first one, of course, you have to integrate this. When you integrate a constant, you'll get x. Put the limits 5 and 7. And when you integrate this, you'll get this value, 11 plus 7 minus. Here substitute the upper limit minus the lower, lower limit. 7 minus 5, you get 2, 3, 2, so 6 plus 11.79. Your answer will be 17.79. And that's how you solve this.